Yo, what's going on, guys? It's back with another episode of Boston Bruins franchise mode and remote. We were about to start the season, but we had a problem. Jake DeBrus and Abraham Faith. So, I'll tell you what I did instead of showing you because the menus are rather slow today. So, what happened? Okay, what happened was I ended up just putting Faith on the fourth line. I scratched Lance Borma and I left DeBrusk on the third line. Now, here's why this works out. I put Faith on the power play. Alright, so he's not just on the fourth line rotting. He is on the power play. And I also decided if Faith attains the role of a top nine player, meaning a third line scorer, checker, or better, Jake DeBrusk will be traded. Trading anybody else on this team right now is out of the question. And that way, once we trade the brusque, we could either bring in someone with one year left, that's really good, throw him on the fourth line, or we could just reinsert Bulma and get some picks out of him, alright? That simple. Uh, of course, it is. The second I say I'm going to think about acquiring a pick. 5-3 dub to start the season. We went undefeated in the preseason, so I expect big things out of this team, considering we are stacked this year. Although, Abraham, not Abraham, but the other guy, we have uh, Bruce Holland, our second line center, is 85 overall, his offensive stats through the roof. He looks at as a third line scorer, but I think he's going to have like 30, 40 goals this year. I think he can. 30, 40 goals this year. Yeah. Bruce Holland's going to be a beast this year. Yikel, Goudreau, and Pasternak is line of the year, uh, in my opinion, unless Stamkos' line is still together, in which case we are boned. But, dude, we're winning. All right, this is a good start. Good start. I love how we have the Bostonian build, uh, the products of Boston uh, College and University. Love that. Love that. Would have loved to get Chris Kreider and the Hayes brothers also, but you know what? I like the team we got right now. I like the team we got. We got a good mix of everything. We got the two-way forwards, snipers, playmakers, grinders, defensive defensemen, offensive defensemen, two-way defensemen. We got. We have a little bit of everything on this team, and it's 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 excellent. Oh, please don't tell me we got a scouting assignment already. Oh God, why why is this even in the game? Should be a turn off scouting thing. Just please. I don't. I don't care. I. I don't mind not doing the scouting assignment. I, I'll live. Believe me, I'm just trying to simulate. These videos could be minutes shorter, and more convenient for the viewers if there was not a scout. But it's all good. <coughs> also, I think I'm gonna postpone the uh, blank <coughs> in today's NHL, referring to bringing back old school teams, putting with today's NHL. I'm gonna postpone that until NHL 18. Because I don't feel like making these players uh, towards the end of NHL 17 and then just not having them in NHL 18 and putting in all the work again just to bring in more guys. You know, I'd rather have them all on hand here. Because another idea I, I kind of want to take from X Tech, I like it, the uh, the Legends Fantasy Draft. I think it's sick. But I don't know if I would do the Fantasy Draft approach. We'll see. I don't know. I think it's a great idea. It's just uh, i got to find the time to do it. And next year I will have that time as I would have I will have graduated my cu current study facility. That's what we'll call it. I don't want to specify what, what college I'm at. Or what high school. Who knows? Who knows? That is for you to guess. That is for me to know and you to guess. Although I can assure you I will be relocating in late June. I will be relocating. To a new state. And I will leave it at that. I will, I will no longer be a New Yorker. In a little over a month. Which is actually kind of sad. Because I've been a New Yorker my entire life. But it's all good. Because where I'm going is basically like New York. Actually at this point. It literally, it literally is. It's amazing. Because we went. I'm not, I'm not even going to get that story. But it basically is New York where I'm going. So it's not going to be super crazy. It's not that far away from New York either. Like it's, like it's, it's a it's a hike. Not something I would do on a daily basis, but it's, you know, not crazy. Going towards the warmer weather, so I'm kind of happy about that. Oh my god, no more cold vlogs. <laughs> of me freaking freezing when it's snowing out, walking home from school. Ay yeah yeah. So sick of those days, bro. We're killing it right now. Thirty one and four. The Bruins team. I'm so glad I did what I did. Oh, that's a loss. Damn it. Oh, I don't know what I did, but I did it. Tell you, that's it, man. You gotta get 
Excuse me. Homegrown talent. So we needed. Bro, one nothing dub. Better than a one nothing loss. How about Nashville, bro? The Predators in the Cup. Well, you know what this means. They're going to get the curse of Edmonton. I feel like. They're, they're the team this year that overachieved. At least I think. You never know. This might not be a fluke. I hope it's not. I'm, I'm pulling for him. I love Philip Forsberg. He's one of my favorite players. I've always liked Ryan Johansson. I thought the Rangers were going to try to get him when uh, when Columbus was floating his name around. But the Rangers just... Uh, they, they didn't really need him. But then again, every time somebody or anybody's available, the Rangers are always involved. No matter how minute or how big the player is. The Rangers are always involved, and they always will be. That's just part of being a New York team. Anytime there's a big fish on the market, a New York team's going to be in the mix for them. Whether it's the most like, the most small inquire or going all in for them, it, a New York team is always involved. You guys should know that. All my fellow New Yorkers. What is this? January is the, the month of the L's. 50 games in, we don't have 10 losses yet. That's sick. We got an insane win percentage. More dubs. I love it. Bad allergy day. I'm about to sneeze. I'm about to. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Okay, I've been fighting this sneeze for like an hour now. Ugh. That's the thing. When it goes from like, because it was really, really bad weather yesterday. I'm talking like raining all day long. Uh, from pouring to drizzling, 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 pouring and back and forth. When that happens with me, I don't know why. When it pours and then it's dry the next day, my allergies shot. And my allergies are weird because I get headaches, which is normal. Uh, you know, stuffy nose, all that stuff. But when I have really bad allergies on daily today, my lips get so chapped. Like, my lips get chapped. My lips are peeling right now. It's disgusting. I like dry lips. It's Ugh, it's weird. Oh, our 10th loss of the season. Then followed by our 11th. It took 56 games to lose 10. That is insane. That's almost a 5 to That is a fi over 5 to 1 win-loss ratio. That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. I don't think I've put together a team like this in a franchise mode on YouTube before, have I? Somebody look back at all the other episodes if you're, if you're feeling ballsy. Look back at the old franchise modes I've done, and let me know if I have ever put a team uh, team together performing this well at the trade deadline. I would love to know. You know what, Philadelphia? Fuck you. Okay, you're a dick. I don't even think I'm gonna, I don't even think I'm gonna make any trade. Bro, we clinched a playoff spot, and it's only the trade deadline. We near damn have forty points more than the second place team. Near damn forty, bro. Holy shit, we have 20 more wins in second place in our division. We clinched a playoff spot. We're the only team to clinch a playoff spot so far. That is amazing. That is beastly. That is so badass. How do we clinch a playoff spot? We really can't get caught? Let's see, we're in the Atlantic division. Fourth place would need... They have 20... No, yeah, we dead ass clinched. What's the max points they can get? They can get, they have 19 games left, 30, 30, 38. They can get 99 points, damn. So we must have clinched like a week ago. About a week ago, a week ago. Let's see, uh, yeah, obviously Roe is number one. Goals four, we're not even, oh wait, one second, that's the least. Bro, destroying in goals four. Goals against, first, power play percentage. Wow, the Kings are going off right now. Uh, PK. First, wow, I've never had a team in first place on the PK. Shorties, almost, almost. Let's take a look at the squad, see how everybody's performing. Hell, I might not make a trade for anybody. I might not even entertain a trade right now. Eichel has 40 flipping goals. That is ridiculous. It's the trade deadline and Eichel has 40 goals. It is safe to say getting Jack Eichel was the best move of the offseason. Pasternak has 80 points. Dude, Goudreau has 69 points. Our entire first line is point per game. Sam Reinhardt on the third line is four points off being point per game. Bruce Holland's got 25 Genos in his rookie year. He is on the rise. Ehlers, 47 points. It's not even required he does well. He's on the second line, but he's doing great. Abraham Faith, let's see. He's a third line scorer now. You know what? Not messing with his team. 
not playing around with this team right now. It is totally fine. He can play on the fourth line. Ice time. Look, he's gaining morale because of ice time. He, he is not even mad. He ain't even mad. He got 31 helpers in his rookie year. Kyle has got 38 points. I really, you know what? If our team didn't have so many scores, he would be a poor game defenseman. But because we have so many uh, scores on this team, uh, the game's got to, you know, distribute points as best as possible. Kyle Connor's having a good year. Not as good as last year or years prior, but still. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you know, he's having morale issues. It's all good. He's happy. Trent Frederick's got 26 Genos on that third line. No wonder freaking uh, <clears throat> Reinhardt Stu is so damn good. Jesus Christmas. Hannafin DeBrus doing good on the third line. For a league on the fourth line. Dude, Shattenkirk doesn't even need to score. He's only got 17 points with all those stats. Kruger, uh, Sergeyev, Brodine. Bro, everyone's got points. Uh, goalie tender. Let's see how we're doing in net. Gillies and Subban are killing it. Uh, we'll take a look at the NHL. See how everyone's performing. Then we'll continue simulating. We don't got to make a move. You know what? I'll, ex I'll explore the trading block just to see who's available. But I'm, I'm, there's no way I'm making trades. No way. We're up there, bro. We are up there. Uh, but I don't think it's necessary to make any trades. I don't think I'm going to be. His slap shot accuracy never goes up. Poor defensive stats. I don't know why. That's insane. That is incredible. I love this. This is this is one. This is a fun GM mode right now. Let's go to trade players. Let's just see who's available. I'm not going to make any trades uh, unless one player just hops out more than anyone else. I don't think I'm going to make any trades. I don't think I have to. I don't want to risk. Uh, like Thomas Hurdle. <laughs> I wonder if his overall went back down. Yeah, it did. What a shame. Who do we trade to Calgary? Strom. Let's see how he's simulating. Yeesh, only 41 points. I think I got rid of him when I did. I really was hoping he was going to grow into one of the cornerstones of our team, but it just did not work out for him. Uh, let's see. Daly, Mike Fist, Lucic, Keith Yandel, Bishop, uh, Nash, no. It's a lot of names I would love to have, but... Philip Forsberg, there you go, speak of the devil. And Subban, Jesus Christ. Uh, what? Oh my god, these are all attractive names. Bring back the Burge. Let me take a look at Subban and uh, Forsberg for a second. How would they fit in on this team? If I were to be ballsy about this. Like I could trade Brodeen. Because he's having morale problems. Only a plus 12. He's doing fine. He's still... You know, he doesn't like anybody, this guy. Holy shit. No one likes Shattenkirk. Um, that's really weird. Oh, wow, Sergeant has 90 overall. I didn't even notice. What a tank. I could, I could trade Brodeen, but for Subban, I'd have to give up a lot more than that. What would I have to give up for Subban? Again, I don't want to make a trade, but if something like that just falls on my lap, kind of hard to say no. You know what, no, no, no. God, I know it's hard to say no, but I got to control myself. I would love to get, you know, maybe at the draft. If at the draft, I feel like we can make a move for him. Yes, but right now, the team is doing too good to change anything. So I'm not even going to play around with it. I want to, because that's just like the, the crazy person in me that just wants to trade for everybody, get rid of everything. That's just who I am. But we're not going to do it. We're going to we're gonna stay holy for this team. That's a loss. I know it, because look at the record. Oh, shit, that was a win. Never mind. Oh, shit, that's right, we lost Philly. Ugh. Never mind. Ugh. Stretching noises, allergy noises. Ugh. <coughs> Ugh. Two L's in a row. Ew. No more of that crap. Dub? 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 Bro, we got, we had 101 points at the deadline. And we had 20 games left. Are we going to close out this season, bro? I want to close this. I mean, having like 65 wins is remarkable. If that's, if, if that's at all attainable by this team, I would love that. 
Although I don't think it is. The Flyers keep giving us a run for our money, and I don't appreciate that very much. And I don't. I think it's mathematically impossible now to get sixty-five wins. Uh, let's see, seventeen losses. We can get exactly sixty-five wins. We have to win out. Let's see. Let us see if we can do it. Ottawa, how are they doing this year? I didn't even. 49-41 and 8. Duh, Buffalo. Beat Buffalo. Oh, we, don't, we don't necessarily have to win out. I'll take it. I'll take a win out. Dub. Bro, can we get 65 win season? Of course. Of course! I freaking knew it. I should have said it. Because I could have called it if I would have just said something. I knew we weren't going to get 65 wins. And I knew we were going to miss it by a game. I freaking knew it. Bastards, you near damn went out. One out. Went out. Near damn one out. You blew it. You guys blew it. Let's see how we did. Bastards, man. Come on. You kidding me? You couldn't get. Oh, oh my. My Nedja the Jooch. Fucking Tampa Bay, man. What is this shit? Holy hell, the Metro is insane. Did we uh, win the. We won the President's Trophy. Very impressive, number two. 64 wins, 130 points. Jesus. 130 points out of a possible 164. We only missed out on 34 points. That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Goals for. First. Goals against. First. Uh, power play. Up there. Third. Uh, penalty kill. Second by a tenth of a percentage. They were shorthanded a lot more times than we were. Damn. We did take a lot of penalties. That's good. Uh, let's see. We win? No. Right, take a look at the player stats. Did I say Eichel had 102 points? Holy fuck! He actually scored 50 goals! Dude, what a beast! Jack Eichel with a 51 goal season. And he... Oh my god! That is incredible! His first 100 point year. His first 50 goal year. What a beast! Oh my god, getting Jack Eichel was absolutely genius. Absolutely genius. Posnack 90. Dude, Goudreau came through with 91 points. Posnack had 96. That's a career best. That's easily a career best. His, other, his best before that was 85. He had two down years and he had 96 points. This is the best first line in the NHL. I don't care what anybody says. Statistically, there's no way anybody beat them. Reinhardt had 71 points on the third line. Did he have a career year on the third line? I should have played him on the third line his entire career, except for 2017, 2018, which I think he was on Buffalo. But still, second best year of his career was on the third line. You know what it is? Playing against worst defensemen. Uh, Ehlers had a great year. Oh, no. He's pissed. He's pissed. I... Is he on the first power play unit? I might have to move him up on the first power play just to get him ice time. We gotta give him more ice time. We can't have him being pissed. We need dealers. Bruce Holland had oh, almost a 30 goal campaign his rookie year. Took over that second line role, man. He did a damn good job doing it. Had a boy, Holland. Uh, Collins in 50, uh, 53 points. Faith, 40 assists in his rookie year. Uh, you know what? I got him to be a sniper, but he does not want to shoot, apparently. Uh, Connor at 47. Uh, Hannaford 36, DeBrus 35. That is a big drop off from last year, I believe, right? No, not even. He peaked Frederick, another 30 goal year in the third line, out of boy. Uh, oh, fuck. Brodine's got morale shit now, too, man. Maybe I should have traded him. Making $8.2 million. Don't fucking give me shit, man. I will kick the crap out of you. How did Subban do? Sub Zero. Oh, boy. Gillies had a bad end to the year. Maybe that's why we lost the last few games. Gillies was probably starting. All right, let's see. All right, Eichel won the Art Ross. Excellent. Matthews had a good year, though. Yeah, best first line in the NHL. Beautiful. Unless you want to say Taves, Kane, Panarin. But statistically, we did better than them. Rob, uh, I mean, I, Ivan Barbers had a great year. Uh, we didn't win the Maurice. We got close, though. Two goals off. It was Mr. Eichel. Good shit. Look at that playoff tree. We put in a save before we take a look at that playoff tree because I usually forget to save. And I rely on auto saves quite often. And it is not a healthy habit. 
Also, you know what? On camera, we'll do this quick. We're, we're gonna we're gonna throw Ealers and uh, Brodeen some extra ice time, just to be safe, cause I need them content for the playoffs. Oh, why? Is, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, I'm not moving him up on the power play. Why is he? Why is Faith on the penalty kill? Get the fuck out of here. I thought Ealers would have been on the penalty kill at least. Uh, yeah, Kylington, no, no, no. You, we're going to reserve you for, uh, uh, what's it called? You know, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, offensive minutes. Yeah, you're good. You'll leave it like that. All right, well, so they'll get some more ice time. They'll be happy. All right, take a look at that playoff tree. And now, actually, we got to save it again because I did line changes. Okay. Now we'll go to Stat Central. We'll go to the, <clears throat> excuse me, playoff tree. And we'll call it. So you got Colorado, Dallas, Winnipeg, Anaheim, San Jose, Vancouver, Edmonton, LA, Flyers, Capitals, Rangers, Islanders, Buffalo, Tampa Bay, and your Boston Bruins against the Pittsburgh Penguins. So, thank you everybody for watching. And if you're not going to you do not need hearing aids. I will see you all in the next one. Peace.